Sometimes as we progress in our careers, we lose sight of where we were when we first started out. And so when you first start out, your perspectives of um, the field of research might be very different from when you've been in the field for a while. So I, I think it's important to keep that in mind and to try to think about things from the students' perspectives and to help them um, through the process at their stage of development. For new faculty members who are just joining McGill, it's really important to start working with students. It's really the most rewarding part of being a professor, in my opinion. Your initially laid out plans never stay the same. <laughs> you know, uh, life uh, happens and uh, things always change. It could be that the students' research interests change or it could be that their life circumstances change. So all of these could be factors that lead to changes and adaptations being needed in terms of my supervision. If you're not failing, then this probably just means you're not going for ambitious enough goals. So uh, the, the failures are part of the process. And what has been most rewarding is to see them develop and do well, to see my students get the type of jobs that they were looking for and worked really hard for, that's really rewarding. To see them get major awards for their research, for example, and to have uh, my students themselves be teachers and to uh, have an impact on their students, that's also very rewarding for me. I would say that what I've done best as a supervisor is to build a, a culture of respect and uh, uh, collaboration within my group. So it's not just always between me and the supervisee. It's not always that one-on-one -on -one connection, although that of course is very important, but it's about building a whole culture and environments where students can also help each other.